We are uncensored. Oh, do what you want to do then. My father said that one day, if man continued in his way, the creator would annihilate this world. Can I not be averted? He speaks to you. You must trust that he speaks in a way that you can understand. I saw water. Death by water. That's on your life. A great flood is coming. We build a vessel to survive the storm. We build an ark. Would you guys agree that this is probably the penultimate telling of the original holy shit moment? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah, sure. No, I, um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what that means. I have no idea. <laughs> Not a clue. What we're basically saying is, it's awesome, it's epic, it's a big deal. Yeah, there's a humorous beginning to the, a very serious journey. It begins. It's certainly one of the biggest. It's one of, yeah, one of the original... It's gonna make the top five of the yeah. list, I'd say. I'd say. I think so. yeah. He's going to destroy the world. Do you guys have a holy ship moment? that you can share with me on this Holy one? ship moment. Yeah. It just seems yeah. weird. <laughs> we, well, if you mean when we saw the art for the first time. Yeah, that was a definitely, that's a That was definitely a holy ship moment. The storm cannot be stopped. The first time I saw it was from the air. I went into that particular location uh, via helicopter because we'd come in from Ireland, uh, Iceland, and that was the fastest way to get there, so it was kind of breathtaking. It was amazing. It's yeah. huge. I mean, it, he built it to scale. Really to scale. Or really, really, really to scale. You, you'd see it when you flew into New York on the plane for like 3,000 feet. You could just see that, you know. It was, <laughs> it was massive. The interior specifically was incredible. Like to see all the detail with the uh, hibernating animals. They had all the like, like the puppets and dolls like everywhere. And these creatures, some of them didn't even exist because yeah. maybe they didn't survive. So there's some really cool, um, really cool things to see when walking around that set. I knew you would not look away. Then you find out Darren Aronofsky's directing it and Russell's gonna be playing now and you go, well, you know, it's a no-brainer, isn't it, you know? Mm. I, I would like some of that, thank you very much. I'm a big fan of his. I didn't even know what movie he was making. I just heard that there was a movie and there was a part and I was like, all right, I'll show up and uh, I'll do whatever you want me to fucking do. A lot of being very cold and wet. Yeah. yeah. Um, they, they threw 5,000 gallons a minute on, on on our heads. We had like over a hundred, we had hundreds of uh, background actors that are in the same exact situation. But when they call cut as, you know, one of the leads, you're like, you know, there's like four fucking towels being run around you and then like a hair dryer and like, then everybody else is like still hanging out in the cold. So I can't say it was really that difficult. This ray is meant to watch us off the face of this world. When you're doing your own stunts, you're, you're putting yourself in the line. Right? Yeah. I, I once yeah. asked an actor a question. I asked him, what's the last thing that goes through your mind yeah. right before they say action? And oh my he said to me, the last thing was, fuck it. It's exactly that. It's like, fuck it. You just gotta go and just try to do the best that you can with the moment. You kind of have a great showdown with uh, Russell and yeah. when you're doing the fight scenes. Are you yeah. giving it to each other a little more? What's the... the yeah. in the ribs you, you get to fuck with them a bit yeah, more. Yeah. Than I kept doing him in the ribs a little yeah. bit like that. You couldn't take it, you know. So I think, you know, it was London versus Australia. Noah's a bit of a badass in this too. I mean, Russell Crowe's a bit of a badass in the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he has to build an arc. You have to be physically kind of a badass, I think, yeah. to, to pull that off. Which is something that Russell said to me actually when we first started shooting. He came to me and he said, he said, Douglas, we have to look like... He's like, go to the gym. He was like, yeah, he was like, <laughs> Doug, you gotta, you gotta go to the gym. You gotta look like you've been building this thing for 10 years. I was like, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's the end of everything. Forget it.